Hey everybody, welcome back to the Whiskey Classroom, I'm Jason. You'll notice that my co-teacher Adam is not here with me this afternoon. He actually is working on some more projects for the classroom, some smaller lessons that we're going to be putting together in the future, so you'll see him back in the classroom pretty soon. Today what I've got in front of me are two budget bourbons. This is Evan Williams' white label, we often call it here. Uh, it is bottled and bond, which we'll talk about what bottled and bond actually means in a future episode. And we have a variety of Jim Beam over here, which is also the bottled and bond version. And the reason that we're doing this video in the classroom is because on Facebook we recently saw a post in the uh, group Bourbon Nation from someone wanting to know what are your opinions on the Evan Williams versus Jim Beam if you were going to drink a budget bourbon, which one would it be? And they were asking about tasting notes and flavor profiles and the like, so I thought I'd pull both of these out and uh, give them both a try. Now again, I didn't have any of the regular Jim Beam or the regular Evan Williams. Uh, I did have both of the Bottle and Bond versions, so I kind of like to keep it in the family, compare apples to apples. So if you have either one of these, let's see what you think about these tasting notes. If you don't have these, then you might want to actually go out and pick both of these up. So we're going to go ahead and nose them, give a little palate, and see exactly what kind of preference we have on these. So I'm going to start out with the Evan and see what we think about this on the nose first. Okay, the Evan has a little bit of vanilla that comes through on the nose for sure. There might be a little bit of cherry in the background of that, but I'm definitely getting some brown sugar notes off of the back. We can definitely get that much. It's a very, what you would call, typical bourbon nose. Um, nothing citrusy really jumps out at you. It's not sharp. There are no tart flavors that seem to come through on that one. If we get into the Jim Beam bottle, now with Jim Beam, I usually get kind of a peanut profile. There's something on the, on, on the nose that smells like peanuts, either a peanut butter sandwich, um, even peanut butter candy bar. And on this one, it doesn't seem like it's as much. I know that on a lot of the Jim Beam products, that's the truth. On regular Jim Beam, you get that very often. And on the repeal batch version of Jim Beam, it has a little bit of that peanut nose too. This one doesn't seem to be coming through as much. It's very, very close to the Evan Williams, very much so. I think the vanilla is a little more muted, doesn't have quite as much of that in it. And it's a little bit stronger on the cherry. So I got a lot of vanilla out of the oven, a little bit of cherry on it. This one is less vanilla, more cherry, it seems like, as it goes through. A little bit drier smelling, too, which means that instead of getting a lot of the fruit notes and the vanilla notes, you get a little bit of the barrel spice, it seems like, out of that. Doesn't smell as sweet. Okay, so we'll go ahead and give both of these a sip and see what we think about the actual palate. Okay, the oven definitely gives you some barrel spice up front. Um, I don't think that that's proof because 100 isn't typically high. 100, though, does pretty well hit my threshold if you watched our first video. That was where I like to live. I kind of like to live between the 90 and the 100 mark for most things that I like, 90 and 95, really. This one hits you with barrel spice up front a little bit. And some of the vanilla does carry through to the back. It holds on. It's not one of those really tear your throat out kind of hold on heats. Not much of a hug either, so I don't feel the heat going down the chest too badly. But I definitely know that there's something there. It's got some good substance. This would be a really good daily sipper. So it doesn't have peanut really on the palate. I haven't, of course, I haven't tasted the gym yet. But overall, that's really nice. That could be sipped every day and be pretty enjoyable. So not a lot of vanilla flavor carries through on it, but it is sweet and a comfortable drinker. Very nice. So now moving on to the gym. Oh yeah, a lot drier. A whole lot drier it is. Because as soon as that hits the palate, it almost feels like it turns dusty. It almost dries up on your tongue. Again, I think it's got about the same amount of spice as the Evan did on the front end, but it definitely finishes a lot different than the Evan palette. This one doesn't last nearly as long on the palate as this does. It has more lingering spice. I can feel it kind of in the corners of my mouth and toward the back. And it also hangs onto the throat just a little bit longer. I would say that if I were going to pick one of these to drink daily, it would definitely have to be the Evan. Um, a lot smoother from front to back. Even though it's got that little bit of spice up front, it doesn't have as much lingering, I guess, peppery notes. Although it's got more dry barrel notes, some tannin on the back. You don't get a lot of bitter. 
So anyway, these are actually both really great sippers. I, though, think I'm going to lean towards the Evan, uh, just as if I were going to go to a daily drinker, I would think so. I would say definitely that any bean product would actually make a very good cocktail. So, hopefully this answered your question as to which would be a better daily sipper in terms of Evan versus Jim Beam. Now, if you want to run a comparison between the Evan Williams Black Label, which is the normal Evan Williams, and just a regular bottle of good old Jim Beam, I would say go ahead and run the experiment and see what you think. But for now, I'm going to go with Evan Bottled and Bond as my daily sipper. I hope you've enjoyed what you've learned, and maybe it'll help you out in making a determination as to what you'd like for your daily sipper. As always, after you've come to the Whiskey Classroom, remember to do your homework. Class dismissed.